Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you enjoyed today's uh, short tutorial please do click that like button down below and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button too and join us as a frequent flyer. Today we're going to go through a short tutorial showing you guys how to edit the coffee cup in the fly by wire A32NX and uh, as you guys know I've also done a tutorial on how to edit the cell cow code and put whatever you like onto that plate and it's uh, just a simple for a process on how to create your own coffee cup um, as well and I'm going to take you through a couple of the steps you need uh, first of all you're going to need a program like GIMP or Photoshop I like GIMP because A it's free and it's got a DDS plugin built into it as well so let's have a little look at how we would go and create it so within your A32NX folder you want to go to sim objects airplanes A320neo texture and then you're going to find a file called cup underscore low to underscore albedo dot png and you want to go ahead and open that in whatever program you're going to use and for me it's uh, the latest version of GIMP and in it goes, you import it into GIMP and you can see the layout of the texture itself for the coffee cup and the lid as well if you want to just keep it basic which is what I've done, go ahead and just fill it all out in white and get rid of it all. Okay so we've gone ahead and cleared all of the colors and textures so we've just got a pure blank white texture to work with. Of course you can do whatever color, whatever patterns you guys want as well and this is but just for the purpose of showing you simply how to add extra layers in and create your own basic coffee cup so go to file, open as layers and you want to go to wherever you might have some textures or pictures logos and so on uh, for me it's my channel logo so open as a new layer and in it goes you then want to go to your scale tool which is in here select it and squeeze it down to whatever size you guys might want your coffee cup to be or the decal of your copy cup to be. There we go. Commit that scale. And what we can also then go and do as well, if I want to, so to represent fly by wire, I'm going to add their logo in as well. And again, you want to change the perspective. There we go, that's going to be good. And then in the perspective tool, right click at the top here and go to rotate click into it and I just want it 90 degrees like so could have it the other way around so it would be minus 90 and commit that and then just move them around to wherever you guys want the textures to sit there we go so now we've got three on the right hand side here we've got main surface logo 2 transparent tag and the other layer as well move the layers down onto each other so it's just one single image and then you go file export as and this is where GIMP's good because it's got a DDS plugin tool already built into it and uh, what I've then done is I've created a folder elsewhere with my cell cow code and my coffee cup textures you want to go ahead and save that as a320neo cockpit main panel a albd.png dot dds so it's the exact same file name as the coffee cup currently in the a320 texture files for the a32nx so go ahead and hit export if you've got one that already exists replace it and you want to generate mip maps for this bit leave the rest as uh, none of default and hit OK and that's it so the next bit is going to be taking the file you've just made and putting it into the A32NX folder so go to wherever it's living copy it so you've got a backup and I'd always recommend getting a backup of the A32NX coffee cup as well the fly by wire default one that they've put in just in case you want to put that one back and then just paste it in it instead And you're done. 
you'll have to reboot your sim and when you do you'll have your shiny new coffee cup in place there we go nice and easy hope you've enjoyed it let me know how you get on in the comments if you made something funky let me know what you've done and be sure to click that subscribe button down below as well thank you all for watching and i'll see you soon for a live stream in the very near future